there comes a moment in all of our lives where we either back down and tell ourselves and others around us that we can't do it. We don't have the skills. We don't have the knowledge. We don't have the money. We don't have the resources. And we go back to doing what we've been doing and settle for mediocrity, living below our potential. Or there's the other option. You decide within yourself that you are sick and tired of living the way you've been living. You stand up within yourself and make a full commitment. You're gonna fully commit to your dreams, to your goals, to your vision of the future. But I say to you, whatever it is you want to demonstrate in your life experience, it's on you. That as you look out where you wanna go, it's on you to decide to move you from there. That a lot of us don't do any more than what we're now doing because we're living within the context of the conversations or the opinions or the expectations that people have of us. And here's what I want to say to you. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. Do you have the strength and the wisdom to push forward? It's difficult for many of us. It's hard to let go when you work so hard to get what you have gotten along the way. But here we are. We must understand within ourselves that every challenge requires focus, requires faith, requires dedication and discipline. There's no reason for you to be down on yourself. There's no reason for you to feel sad about yourself. In reality, we are so much more. So keep looking up and know there are going to be many days that you will have to face things that are not going to be what you want it to be. There are going to be many days when you just don't feel you have the strength to carry on. Excuses sound best person that's making them up. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Get off the pity party. Telling everybody your sad and sob stories, trying to get people to show up to your pity parties and your pity parades. If you ever see me in a Rolls Royce, a six or seven star hotel, living my life to the fullest, don't get jealous of me. Because I worked my ass off to get it. Nobody handed me nothing. Wake your ass up. Awaken the beast inside. It's game on. It's go season. I woke up one day and stopped making excuses. I woke up one day and stopped playing the blame game. I woke up one day and looked at the man in the mirror and was like, Yo, bro, what are you doing? Wake up. It's showtime. Let's go. No more excuses. No more weakness. Now is the time for strength and through strength and through will and through unwavering discipline I will become who I want to be you let you down you've never you're not brave enough you want to put it on somebody else the reason why I'm not successful is because of my boss have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and said I'm not getting up on time I'm not going to work on time I'm not putting in 120 percent when I'm at work I let me down. And when you get to the point where you can say you let you down, I don't care. Listen to me, no disrespect. I don't care about Glenn. That's not why I do what I do. And I love Glenn. I don't come here and do what I do so Glenn can affirm me, so he can give me a pat on my back. I care more about me than I care about what Glenn thinks about me. I have standards. I have value. I don't care how much you pay. If I speak at an elementary school for three hundred dollars, I chose to do that for three hundred dollars. If I chose to speak at a prison for free. I chose to do that, and I will not go in there giving those prisoners less than what somebody pays me a hundred thousand. Why? Because I value myself enough to give 120% or don't do it. And that's the problem with some of you.